I'm here with Debbie Bliss to tell you all about... I'm really sorry, I, I actually did that with my nose just as it was going on. So sorry. Hello everybody, I'm here with Debbie Bliss to tell you all about the Breast Cancer Haven Big Tea Cosy Appeal. It runs all the way through March and uh, I, Debs, I just wanted to talk mm. to you about the importance of having somewhere to go when you've got breast cancer. Yeah, I had, um, although um, the Haven in uh, London, there's two in London and they're just not that near me, I still had two friends that live locally to me that went there and, and absolutely loved it. Um, and what I found really useful actually, and it's some, I downloaded something today when I was looking at it, is uh, they also have um, discussion groups that are online. I was particularly interested in one about lymphedema because you don't always get a lot of information sometimes at hospitals or you forget to ask. So I went on to that uh, discussion. Lymphedema is something that you can get if you've had all your lymph nodes taken out, which I have on one side. And they also had, you could follow an exercise group. So even if you can't get to one, then there's plenty that they're sharing on their website too, which is fantastic. So how important was it for you? I know that you didn't get to the actual, mm. the haven nearest you, but how important is it if you're suffering from breast cancer to go somewhere where you can just relax? Mm. There was one time when I felt that I needed it um, just to talk to somebody because I think that I have a tendency to put a face on, which actually I've actually found works really well for me. It doesn't, because everyone reacts to having cancer or breast cancer differently. Well, first of all, I did it for my friends and the family, you know, like a bit of banter, you know, like a bit of kind of, you know, mustn't grumble, Dunkirk spirit kind of a thing. Um, and then what I realized was I was actually doing that when I went to my local hospital or when I went to Bart's because I, then the breast care nurses were going, oh, Deb, you know, she's great, you know, always really positive And, you know, you'd have a, you know, proper laugh with them. I actually enjoyed that, but there was one time when, um, when I knew that the cancer had spread into my lymph nodes and I was then waiting for bone scans and PET scans to see whether it spread or not. Um, and I just said to my husband, I think I need to go into Maggie's, um, which is the similar to Haven. And we went into the Maggie's centre and I just went up to somebody and went, I'm really sorry, I've just got to have a really good cry because I realise what I'm doing, I'm putting on you know, like the face to also the breast care nurses at my local hospital and also the doctors. Um, and I don't regret doing that because it made me feel better, but I just needed to go somewhere where I could have a good cry. And then also as I left, a volunteer came up to me and said, promise me wherever you come in, you'll always wear that lipstick. And I really liked, I, I liked the kind of, the, that as well, you know, yeah. people weren't putting on you know, that kind of, there is a thing where people slightly put their heads to one side and do that. The other lovely thing about these Haven centres is mm. that they offer all kinds of complementary therapies. So you can have a massage or aromatherapy or reflexology, or you can have counselling. How mm. important are those kinds of services when you're, when, when you're in the middle of your sort of yeah. breast cancer journey? I think it's really important. I, I was lucky in that my local hospital, they had, you could have four um, sessions of whatever you wanted. It could be massage, it could be reflexology, it could be armchair yoga. And I chose to have the massages and I absolutely loved it. I also had a friend who, this was the most wonderful gift to me when I started chemo, paid for five sessions of massages for me. And I always remember it was somebody that I met. This was somebody who didn't have a partner and also had a fear of needles. And I always remember this because it really resonated with me. She said that, the only time somebody touches me is when they're sticking a needle in me. So it isn't only just the wonderful relaxation you get in something like massages. It's the fact that you're going to hospitals all the time, often on a weekly basis, even if it isn't for treatment, but it's waiting for scan results. It's what we call scanxiety. Um, so the idea also that not only the physical benefits of uh, the massage, but also the sense of being touched, mm. that you're not being touched and um, you're, not having, you're not having your chemo line put in, you're not lying under this kind of weird machine and having radiotherapy. So that's another thing, one of the many things that Haven offers, it's, it's, it's wonderful. So we have, some of our fantastic designers, including you, have given us beautiful patterns that have been designed just for Breast Cancer Haven. Mm. And so if you buy one of these patterns, all 
the proceeds of the patterns are, go to Breast Cancer Haven yeah. as part of the sort of fundraising. Mm. And uh, some of your patterns are there. So yes. it's great. You can either make something mm. for yourself mm. or make something for somebody who has breast cancer or make something and give it to the Haven. Yeah. So whatever you do with the patterns is entirely up to you. Mm. But all the money from the yeah. patterns goes to mm. the appeal. And also, you know, we were saying earlier, have a big tea cosy tea party. <laughs> yes. What I is can't better? Wait. It's like tea cake, yeah. friends. Oh my goodness, Miriam. We do love a bit of cake, don't we? Miriam, by the way, is the expert cake maker and just brings in the most delicious cakes um, on a weekly basis, actually, yeah. I always have to tie my days in with uh, when Miriam's bringing cake in. So, yeah, get knitting, get crocheting, download these wonderful patterns, go and buy a pattern. All the proceeds go to the Breast Cancer Haven. Uh, have a big tea cosy party so you can go onto the Breast Cancer Haven site all the details will be with this video and uh, download your fundraising kit and get knitting get crocheting get baking and yeah. also if um, you don't have a teapot um, you just do it in a mug with a tea bag uh, just sew up the um, holes on the tea cosy and make it into an amusing hat <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I just thought of that, Mary. That's very good. Just thinking. Can you put a pom-pom on? Yeah, exactly. It's a hat for your teapot. Yeah. <laughs>